Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an entry level travel trailer toy hauler at an amazing price point. This is the 2021 Forest River Salem FSX model 260RT. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer that we review. And again today, I am super excited we don't get to re review that many toy hauler travel trailers, so this one's gonna be a good one. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah, like Matt said, we don't get to review a lot of toy hauler travel trailers. They're not as popular or, or as common, but um, we have been getting quite a few emails about it, so you know I'm excited to, to get them out to you. Hey, you're like a genie. Your <laughs> your request is our command. That's right. <laughs> Let's begin. Model is. 260RT. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 28 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 4,916 pounds. And will the tongue weight? 650 pounds. Awesome. Always remember you want to use weight distribution bars, especially if you load up something in the back. It's going to throw off your equilibrium. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack just like that. Propane tanks go here, and your batteries go there. Now, when we call this an entry-level travel trailer, what we mean is you have the aluminum corrugated side with wood framing. Right here's your diamond plate rock guard there. It is ready for solar, and you do have manual stabilizing jacks. I really like right oh. here, bless you, that you do Thanks. have your pass-through storage held up by a magnet, and then right there is your spare tire, and underneath there, Will, it, it does have a propane quick connect. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. The nice solid steps right here, I love that. Okay, very big window, very yeah. big and basic, okay? You got speakers on the outside, also coax if you want to have TV on the outside. And then look at these tires, Will! They're the Ridgeway Sport STs, I love those. <laughs> ST205-75R14 with Dexter axles right there, okay? Coming on around the back. GB coming around the back. When she comes, oh no, we're locked. Just the one side. You didn't bring your keys? No. Do you want me to try to get it? Or can you feel that it's locked? No, it's locked. Um. We do have a ramp door. It does come down. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. And Will, did you check on the inside? Does it make a patio? Uh, I don't remember. I believe it makes I a think patio. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It sucks. Dang it. Hang on a second. Oh. Here we go now. We'll show this patio. Yeah. It does make a patio, it looks like. Right. And this is the 210. So this one's smaller. And again, we're just using this. It is gonna have a screen door and it is gonna have the patio right here. Very easy to set up. You just go up, up, click, click. Boom, there you go, now you're camping. And to get it back up, you just go like that. Oh. Hold on. I said hold on. Ready? Yep. Shoot. Ow, nope. Nope. <laughs> leave it. Okay. Hang on. No, we can't leave it. There we go. <laughs> Ow. Don't, why'd you lock it? I, it? You stopped pushing it. There you go. Now this one came out there. <laughs> okay, ready? Keep pushing it. Will, don't do it with the camera. I don't want to do it with my hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. There we there go. You go. You're gonna make everybody sick. Sorry. Right there, this is vents to air out when you have a gasoline product in there. 30 amp power cord right here, very nice. Your water heater is right there. Potable water fill, potable, potable. City water connection and everything, outdoor shower. 
with a black tank flush and right there is your uh, black and gray tank dump station. Interesting. And then finishing up, here's the other side of that pass through storage. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, we'll start up front. Whoops. Got the bedroom here. The bathroom in the middle. And then the back is just kind of all combined. Dining yep. area, kitchen, yep. living area. As you saw, the back does drop down to make a patio, okay? Right here, I love this. Look, you have two sofas yep. with a huge table that does drop down to make this a huge bed. I love that. Also, if you don't want the table there, you have two seating areas. Very nice. Right. No slide outs in this travel trailer. Huge, huge, huge window right here. Nice blinds. Let me tell you something. That is super nice. Right I didn't up even there. realize none of the lights are on in yeah, here. Yeah, well, what are you doing? I don't know. You don't even need a light. You don't really. Oh, uh, right up here you do have storage. And again, simple travel trailer. And well, look at what's back here. Oh yeah. Psh, America. Hell yeah. Got beer opener right there by the patio and everything. And then these fold up, I guess. Yep, they do. They do. They fold up out of the way for you to so get this your whole thing becomes the garage. Yeah, do you want to fold that up for us? I don't know how to, but I can try. Yeah, figure it out. Oh, Little flippity doo dah. Yep, we gotta get the table out the way. Yep. Oh, and there's easy storage below it. That's pretty cool. So then I guess these just fold in like this. Yep. I don't know how it must. Oh, okay, with this. Yes, sir. Clips in like that. Yes, sir. And then this one clips in as well. There we go. Very nice, my friend. Great job. Well, well. And then over here, a TV goes here. You have your control panel, Furion speakers, Furion fireplace. Everything else is right there. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. I hope it's good. <laughs> MSRP, and it is good. On this travel trailer here is $32,464. Will, that is MSRP. Not bad. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price, but Will, I know we will get this in the 20s somewhere. Where it falls in the 20s, nobody exactly knows. But Will, somebody wants to buy this unit, what's the best way to get the best price on it? They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Then you'll see a contact tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That's in the email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you within 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter what tab somebody clicks. What's the one thing we'll always get them? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys, this is a really small kitchen. So we'll start up top here. Uh huh. Your cupboards up top. The storage there. Nice Furion microwave right there. Okay. And a nice Furion range hood as well. Hood range. You have a window on your non camping side, which is nice, letting some, uh, some natural light when you're cooking. Yes, sir. Not solid surface countertops at this price point and trying to keep the weight low. I'm not surprised. Yep. But you do have a nice single bowl sink there. Yes, sir. With the uh, inserts. Nice Furion. They did go with Furion. Yeah, man. Nice Furion three burner cooktop. Yes, sir. Um, with the blue lights. 
right there, and oven right there. And a little bit of storage down below and under the sink. Under the sink, yes sir. And then the Everchill compressor fridge. Oh, and there's right the keys. There. Well, we could have opened the back. We could have, yeah. But we opened the other one. Perfect, it's now time for the tall test. Or right, the I shower don't have test. A lot of faith. Mm, radius shower. Yeah, it's not the tall test anymore, it's a shower test. Right. And it already fails. We hate radius showers. Yep. I will say it's not as bad as I was expecting height wise, but it's still a radius shower. Yep. And we don't like those radius showers. We do not. Hey, who likes my hair today? I tried Will's hair gel. Let me tell you, that stuff sucker ain't going nowhere except that <laughs> that right there. Yep. Hang on a second. There we go. Now my hair will be as thick and Thank creamy you. as Will's. Right there is the uh, medicine cabinet. We have nice that right there. And then over here, oh man. Plastic, huh? Well, it's just like in a Oops. corner, you know? Yeah. We got this right here. And it's plastic. Yeah. Actually more space than what I thought. But it is plastic. You all right? Yep. Finishing up in the master bedroom, okay? We do have nice storage all the way around. Same thing on this side. Nice storage above. Back up to get the bed. Power and USB on both sides. And then plenty of storage underneath. You can see that it does connect through. Yeah. And I love the black storage compartment thingies. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review, short and sweet. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Salem and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do with first? Three things we love. Okay. Okay. First thing I am going to say, I love this price point and I love the size of this. Yeah. If somebody's looking for a new travel trailer toy hauler, it's just a great compromise of exactly. price, length, and floor plan. Yeah. I think that is totally awesome. Perfect for probably a half ton truck. And yep. Yep. Depending on what you're loading. Yep. Exactly. That is number one. Number okay. two. I do like the what's the word like uh what am i trying to say like the different options you can use for this whole room they knew it was a small trailer they didn't try to fit everything into one they just made or you know fit like separate rooms they just said hey this is gonna be the living room the kitchen the dining room the toy hauler the simplicity yeah the simplicity very nice yep okay that's number two and number three i love that the ramp door does drop yes. down to make a um living area again at the end of the day this is a smaller travel trailer so with no slide out so to get you some more space that's very nice yeah definitely so that's three things we love about it now it's time for three things we don't like about this travel trailer okay bum 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 you ready for me to go first yeah this is a freaking mess it is the fact that you got to move all this crap out of the way just to get this up yeah it's not cool there's other toy especially haulers. with the bins like this is a toy haul area just get rid of the bins right you know right just keep yeah like you said keep this as simple as possible yep a hundred thousand percent just not a fan yeah that's number one number two okay for me i'm gonna say the bedroom yeah it is so tight in here yep there's no room um the bed seems really small there's no place for hardly any clothes so yep i don't like this bed and anymore. how you have to walk through the bathroom yeah exactly. to get to the bedroom so that's number two. And then number three, Will's gonna be outside. Call me crazy and maybe I'm wrong. I do not like how low that sewer connection is. Right. I mean, maybe they're all like that, but you know, that one sticks out like a sore thumb. I can see just how vulnerable it is. One, it doesn't look good. And two, especially if you go to like a mud track or whatever, right. I mean, you could easily pop that sucker. Right. Like a speed bump alone would, I feel like, take that out. Right. Great. That's it, Will. That's the review. That's the Salem 260 RT.
If you guys have any questions about the travel trailer, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is the personal cell number or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few moments, you're gonna see other toy hauler travel trailers right here and here. That if you're, in the, if you're looking to buy one of these, you're gonna to wanna to check out those videos as well. Will, is there anything you wanna say? Sure. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, you know, there's been a lot of requests for toy hauler travel trailers. So as they come in, we're trying to bring them to you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time.